Good happy Wednesday morning. I'm Riley King and welcome to the Riley King Newscast. Let's get started. First up, bomb threats made against school in Portsmouth, Sunapee, Farmington. The FBI is investigating a series of bomb threats aimed at a dozen of schools and police are investigating whether threats made in New Hampshire are related. Political experts discuss impact of New Hampshire primary. For more than half of its 100-year history, the New Hampshire primaries has been washed watershed moments in political campaigns by acting to narrow the field. Latest models, weekend nor'easter, tracking slightly further south. The remainder of the work week is expected to be bright, breezy, and brisk ahead of a possible nor'easter over the weekend. Manchester Treatment Center opens. A new recovery facility in Manchester hosted its grand opening Tuesday. McDonald's to serve chocolate-covered french fries. Would you like some chocolate cover chocolate on your fries? Lancaster man kills kills himself after shooting at wife's car. A man shot and killed himself Sunday evening in Lancaster after firing at his wife's car, police said. Lesser known presidential candidates debate at St. Elm's College. A crowd gathered at St. Elm's College Tuesday night for a primary tradition that dates back to 1972, high profit debate with low profit candidates. At 80, Bear Brandt is still king on the hill. On a steep and icy patch high above Sunday Rivers, Baker Lodge, Bear Brandt, 80, who was seated in a metal chair Saturday, his mitted left hand held a radio to and his eyes were set intentionally on a icy race course above him. Raymond Police Investigate Home Invasion Robbery A homeowner was retained with duct tape during a home invasion robbery Tuesday, according to Raymond Police Department. Franklin Graham holds prayer rally outside Concord State House. Dozens of people stood in frigid cold outside of New Hampshire's State House to attend a prayer rally held by Franklin Graham, son of Revlin Billy Graham. Bitter cold ahead of uncertain in weekend forecast. Bitterly cold temperatures and blustery winds arrived in the Granite State on Tuesday, setting up a frigid week ahead. Cruise continues five-day swing through New Hampshire. U.S. Senator Ted Cruz spoke to voters in small hometown venues Tuesday as he continued his trip through New Hampshire. 21 dead at Pakistani University. Taliban claims responsibility. Militants raided a university in North West Pakistan timing their attack to a ceremony 
at the school to ensure maximum counselities. And that does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Wednesday. See you back here later on. Goodbye.